Bangladesh press conference with Laura Goodall. To get things started, Laura, congratulations on a, a wonderful performance by you and the rest of your team. If you can just give us how you're feeling and yeah, to finally come through and just contribute so successfully to the team. Obviously, I'm feeling very good at the minute. Uh, it was nice to, to get the team over the line. Yeah, the personal, the personal milestone was good, but to, to be there in the end and win the game after a so hard well in the middle was with Minion and Kapi, Bob Marizon. Um, and then also just to, to, to coach Hilton for, for um, all his faith in me. Um, I know I haven't always backed him up, so and he's always he's always backed me um, as a player. So um, that's one that's one of him. Yeah, just the last one, uh, Lara. You know, I saw just you being embraced by a lot of your teammates. How did that make you feel? Honestly, it's a good feeling because uh, a, lot, a lot of my teammates um, have always believed in me, and, and I haven't always um, uh, repaid that faith out on the field. So today, for it to come together. It, it was amazing because um, I mean that they've seen what I'm capable of back home in the beach of cricket and, and also um, joining the NHS and stuff like that. And there, there was always some kind of disconnect um, when I went out into the field. But I've gone back um, and looked at myself um, very, 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 very hard uh, during the lockdown period and, and just came back to international cricket with, with a different approach because now that I'm back, I don't, I don't ever want to wanna go be, be back. Um, back home in the provincial structures for the whole season. I want to be playing for the momentum protest with that World Cup in mind next year. Thank you, Laura. Members of the media, if you can just kindly indicate on the chat panel if you've got a question for Laura Goodall. Uh, see if it also is the first one, please go ahead. Thanks, KK. Well batted, Laura. Congratulations on, on the win. Um, you seem to uh, sort of be quite open about maybe talking about not performing to expectation in the past. Um, first of all, were you under quite a lot of pressure and were there any kind of conversations that happened around, you know, what, what people wanted from you in the series? And then Mignon spoke in the post-match press conference as well about um, the middle order and, and you guys feeling the need to perform. Can you just talk about like what you guys have been through and, and the expectation that's set in that middle order and sort of how that's uh, come to fruition today? I think uh, we've always had, we have a world class opening partnership in Nazal and Loda, and we haven't always backed them up in the past. So it's nice to come to a place like India, which isn't the easiest place to play cricket um, with all the conditions and, and stuff like that. So for us as a, as a batting unit, um, I think we had four 50s in, in the top four. I think our entire top four scored 50s, which, and I mean, if, if your entire top four is getting 60, 70s, you're winning more, um, you're winning more games um, more often than not. So I think we just. We just we could always rely on our opening partnership, but but as a model order, we had to look at ourselves immensely um, because we, we've let the team down in the past, and it's something that we, we don't want what we don't want to happen um, in future because we know all the talent that is there. I mean, um, Minion with all the experience, Marizon with all the experience, um, and when Danae comes back eventually, she'll slot in there as well. So um, I think we just we owe it to to Lazar and Loda um, that that today was for them because I mean. Uh, they've always given us the best thoughts um, up top. Uh, Ken, you can go ahead. Thanks, KK. Uh, congratulations, Laura. Superb innings. Well done. Um, you mentioned uh, having a different approach to your batting uh, in this series. Can you just uh, maybe tell us a bit more about that? I think when I, when I was here two years ago, um, I wasn't really sure on how on my game and how to play spin and, and what my options were. And, I didn't really back it, so it was half-hearted approaches and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, in the lockdown period with the whole COVID um, story, when I when I was able to get back into the net, I, I just worked on on that, and I took because I think that was the last time I played international cricket. Um, so I took, and like I said, I looked at myself um, deeply, and and I saw that I needed to improve a lot to, to become a mainstay in this in this protest lineup. Um, because I mean, there is a slot open in that in that middle order, which is which I wanted to make mine, and I think it was just. Um, like I said, I owe a lot to, to Coach Hilton, he's always backed me and, and we've always had open conversations about plans and how to, to play spin and then um, someone like Tanisha Devner and I work, I work with at a high performance centre a lot back home, um, and also helped me a lot and, and always backed me. So, I mean, like I said, um, I just took a different approach mentally because I felt like I've always, I've always had the shots and I've always had um, the ability to back, but I think mentally was where I had to kind of make that shift. And, and it came through today, and um, that's all I can ask for. Laura, I've got two questions here for Lavanya. 
Um, the question reads, uh, the South African bowlers did struggle to contain the Indians through several passages of play during the first innings. What are the takeaways for the bowling attack from today's game in particular? And yeah, if you can just start with that and then I'll ask the second question later. What, uh, uh, yeah, what are the takeaways for the bowling attack from today's game? I think, I think as a bowler, we, we bowled a bit um, too straight at times and, and too many bad balls. Um, but I mean, our bowling, our bowling unit has always been world class. And it is quite a flat week out there, so it's quite difficult to, to contain and, and to um, keep India to a respectable score. So we knew anything 250, 260, we were willing to chase because the men is good outfield. It's a good deck. Um, if we apply ourselves like we did today, um, the bowlers have pulled us out of many a hole um, in so many years. So today it was good to do it for them. Um, because they were a bit off, but the batters came to the party. And I feel like that's what being a team is all about. Uh, when, when one department doesn't off there, the other department has to step up. Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Laura. Uh, Lavanya, I'll ask the second question to the coach and I'll send you a response uh, via voice note. Uh, I think it would be unfair to expect Laura just to respond uh, to that question because she's not in charge of uh, experimenting and lineups. Ken, if you can follow up, please, uh, with your question, please go ahead. Thanks. Um, Laura, those two reverse sweeps you played in the penultimate over for four, it's, it's obviously a shot that you practice a lot. Um, but you, have, you ever had, have you ever had to pull them off under such pressure? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, it's, but it's a shot that I've always backed myself to play. I mean, I played back home all the time. Just because it's for South Africa doesn't mean I have to change my approach. And um, it was deeply charming, so that was kind of Minion and I were discussing in the middle an option uh, against her. So once they put the slip out, that was always going to be my option, um, just for that bound because we found like it was a uh, it was a less risky option than the actual sweep because my my conventional sweep didn't really work today, so I had to go to, to something else. So I mean, if your plan A doesn't work, you need to have plan B as bad as and that was my plan B, and then uh, they have to give it to Minion there because it was a good discussion we had in the middle, and it came off and. At the end of the day, I was in and I was set and I was quite calm throughout, um, which helped um, to, 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 to execute such shots. Thanks, Laura. Uh, question here from uh, Shajan. Uh, Minion to pray after the second ODI I talked about the promise you showed and how we are yet to see the best of you. Today, you should have met winning partnership with her. What was the talk in the middle like and where do you prefer to bat in a full strength South Africa side if you are given a choice? If I was given a choice, uh, to be honest with you, I don't really mind. Uh, back home, I'm an opening batter, so the three, the three position is quite familiar to me. Um, four, I had to kind of adapt my game a little, but I mean, if you can get into a lineup for the Proteus at four, I would, I would take it any, any day of the week. So I'm happy there at three and four. Um, I like two nights down the so I have to kind of step up and step in there. But I'm sure if she's, if she's back in the next game, then, then I'll slot down to four, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, and yeah. Thanks, Laura. For those, you can go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry for those. Uh, I see I've got Anisha first, and then then you. Thanks, Anisha, Kate. please go ahead. Sure, uh, Laura. Uh, uh, you know, your several of your South Africa teammates have already participated in the WBBL, and some of them played at the Women's T20 Challenge last year. Uh, obviously, the T20 leg of the tour is yet to be uh, uh, yet to take place. But do you fancy yourself landing a contract in one of these T20 uh, tournaments, given the the area of innovations you have uh, in your armory? To be honest with you, it's not something that I'm that I've really thought about. The uh, main goal is to kind of uh, cement my place in this momentum for the side because I mean we are a world class team and uh, we have world class ambitions and. So my first and my first um, option is to try and try and get in this team become a mainstay, um, and then if the other contracts and stuff come, um, that's just the fruit, fruitful tuition from from performing well for my country. But that's always um, this one is my main goal to play for for the spans over here. So um, whatever happens after that happens, but um, I want to do my best for the momentum for the momentum at this time. And yeah. Thanks, Laura. All the best for the next games. Thank you. Thanks, Anisha. For those, you can take the second last and then can you take the next one? Uh, Lara, at what point did you guys think, okay, we've probably, we've probably got this in the bag in terms of, of the chase? Was there any stage at which you felt, okay, we got it or we don't have it? <laughs> I, I think uh, we, we, we realized we got it and we actually won the game. But 
um, on that pitch, we always felt like with wickets in hand and, and too many overs. I think we, we needed about 130-odd or 20. And anyway, sixes and sevens and over, we always backed ourselves with um, uh, eaters to come. Marizana in the in the changing room at the time. So, I mean, we, we knew it was a good deck. It, it just gets flatter and flatter. And we knew that wickets in hand were massively important. Um, but it was nice because Minion took the pressure off me because I started off a little bit slowly and once she started scoring freely, it, it suddenly um, helped me to also uh, score a lot freely, a lot more freely. So, um, yeah, I just think we, we were always in control at, time, at the time we knew if we didn't lose wickets in classes, which has been our problem in the past, um, which we didn't do today. So, I mean, it shows you when you have that, that massive partnership, especially throughout the middle, um, middle overs of the game, uh, you win more, you win games more often than not, and, and I think that that partnership between Mignon and I um, set the game well. Fourthly, and Anthony, um, uh, Laura and and uh, Lazar set the game up, and then when Mignon and I came together and got that under partnership, I was quite confident, and, and because Marizan's quite Marizan's quite a good finisher, so when she came in, we knew um, that we kind of had the game. Ken, you can go. Laura, what does it mean for the team to to win this series and and with a game to spare? I mean, it would seem to be a hell of an achievement. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said before, well, the last time we came to India, we got clubbed a little bit, so we we came back with a point to prove. And uh, the chat in the changing room is we we are all um, different players, especially the batting, and we are a lot we are we are a lot more mature in our games, and we are a lot um, more we back ourselves a lot more than we did two years ago. I mean, we came here, we got stressed, you know, and, and we knew we had a point to prove coming here. We knew it wasn't going to be easy with conditions. We didn't know what to expect. Um, it was a lot of uncertainty. So um, it was nice to come and, and make a statement because I feel like uh, today, being especially, was a statement because a lot of the time um, our batting unit was always under scrutiny. So to show that we have that belief and we have that, um, and we back each other all the way to chase two, I don't know what it was, two sixty-seven or something like that. Um, yeah, it's a massive chase against a world-class uh, team. So, we're really, really, really happy and, and we'll definitely enjoy this one. Uh, Percy, you can take the last one in Afrikaans. Laura, bye, thank you, KK. Bye, thank you, and Laura. Bye, good luck with you in Spain. Laura, can I just ask you to ask me, I'm only getting one bite that, that you're asking an Afrikaans question. Um, so, can I ask you to ask me, where do you write your life and your life, your life, your life, your life, your life, and the other part of my question is, what does this mean for you for the rest of your life, the last one day, and then in the T20 life? I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first question. Ik wil gevraagd waarom schrijf je vandaag zijn succes toe om jullie overwinning hier in die, die wedstrijd vandaag? En dan het tweede deel is niet, um, wat betekent het voor jullie voor de rest van die reeks nou? Um, I think we owe a, a lot of us to, to just... Uh, Laura, uh, yeah? can you respond in Afrikaans if possible? Can you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, if you can't, Laura, Laura if, if you can't, then I'm going to have to put English on. I'll, I'll say it with the English now. Okay. Cool, thank you. Was it answer the question, Stop. Yeah, please go ahead, Laura. Oh, uh, I think we, we owe today's win um, to, to just the backing of our coaching staff and, and um, just to, to ourselves, I think. Uh, we owe it to ourselves. Like I said, the last time we came here, it wasn't the best series for us. So we were down and out after that. Um, personally, I was out of international because after that. So I took it quite hard. So to come back here and prove the point that and win a series, um, in India without the likes of Dana Ifanikika, our, our usual skipper, and, and Chloe Trang, which are two big players for us. It uh, just shows the immense character and depth that we have as a country, and, and then we're moving in the right direction. Um, and yeah, sorry, the, the loss. What is the second part of the question? So, so what does it mean for going forward in the series? Obviously, the one last one day match, and then obviously the T20 series. How much confidence are you guys taking into the rest of the series? Uh, into the last match, obviously, 4 1 looks a lot better than 3 1, and, and as a team, uh, we always want to win more games and, and, and to win um, in India 4-1 is a statement to the rest of the world that, that we're gunning for that World Cup because I feel like that's, that's our, our main goal at this point and that's why we're playing this many, this many uh, 50 over games. Um, so, yeah, at going into the T20 series, you obviously take a lot of confidence from, from winning um, in, in the 50 overs, but we know that's a different ball game in your world class T20 minutes. Um, the, the wickets are flat, so we know it's probably going to be a high scoring game, so we just have to stay calm in those big moments. Um, T20 is a lot more uh, is a lot more intense and it's shorter and, and quicker, but I mean, 
we, we've shown that, that we have all the tools to be a successful T20 side. And we always take confidence in the series win because it's always nice to go into, into a new series, whether it be T20 or Kofi was with, with wins under your belt and wins against um, uh, good opposition um, in their own condition. So very, very proud of the team and we'll take, we'll take the series win and enjoy it tonight, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, members of the media, for taking the time to join us for this post-match uh, press conference. We look forward to engaging with you guys for our last game on Wednesday. Take care and have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Well done. Thank you.